In the previous video, I made this large slab across this midplane of the vehicle, balanced out nicely, and I got it pretty close to the actual point cloud relatively quickly. Now, as you can see, I still have a little bit of work to do along this edge. I want to bring this edge out to match the point cloud a little bit better. There's an inf inflection on the point cloud that comes back up and around. And what I want to do is I want to match this edge to that, that near inflection point. So I want to make this more closely resemble this point cloud along that edge. Now there are several ways you can go about doing that. Um, one of the easiest ways that I find is let me select my surface. Let me make sure that I'm going to symmetry across my symmetry plane. I can begin pulling and, and moving these control points, right? All sorts of things that I can do along these lines. If I just grab this, you'll notice that the whole entire surface moves along with it. Well, that's not necessarily what I want to do. I'm pretty close to matching what I need at this end, but I'm kind of far away uh, from matching at this end. So I'm going to come in here and tell the system I want a linear law, and I want to move an entire mesh line. So by selecting this and pulling this, now what you're going to see happen in a linear law sense is this pivots about that last point. So by pulling at this far end, this end is being held fast and the rest of these are moving in a linear fashion at a percentage from zero I apologize, from zero to 100 percent. And it's dividing these equally to get you to uh, to allow you to move this linearly. There's other options in here with the types of laws, concave law, bell curve law, and all sorts of things. But in this case, I just wanted a nice linear law, smooth transition. Works out very nicely. Now, as I look at my control points along that edge, you can see it's kind of wavy. So the next thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I have this edge selected, only that edge. The rest of these control points are in good shape, so I don't want to affect those. And I can do something like run a smooth. And what ends up happening is, is it smooths those points. It brings them more in line to one another. So it sort of cleans up that edge. I can run that smooth several times, as many times as I want to to get this thing close. And it's not affecting any of these because when I did my initial move I had picked just this simple row of control points. So quickly, easily, I've managed to more closely match the edge that I need by simply using a linear law and then smoothing this out. That way the next surface that I make has a nice clean edge to transition up to. Now I have a little bit more work to do on this. You can see I'm deviating a kind of far away. So I can come in here and I'm going to take and move again in a normal direction at this end, leaving a linear law. As you can see, I want to drag this whole thing up a little bit to get this to match a little bit closer. So I'll drag this up. Getting pretty close. There we go. Now at this top edge, as you can see, I'm, I'm coming up pretty proud over here and let me change my attenuation so I can man manipulate this with high level of uh, accuracy. This time I'm just going to simply man manipulate the control point at this point right over here and I'm going to drag it down. Bring this guy up a bit. So here you can see I'm getting mighty close. Okay, let's leave that on linear. Let me grab this. And now I want to move yep. this guy, move it down a little bit. And again, I'm using a linear transition, especially here in the middle, because if I don't, I'll uh, potentially end up creating a little bit of wave in the surface. Okay, so I'm moving it, getting it really close. So this is how you uh, basically clean up the surface nice and quickly. All right, let me drag this up. And in no time at all, I have a minimal amount of deviation. Everything looks good. 
you may need to visualize like in this in this ang in this direction. Uh, maybe I need to add a little bit more acceleration, so I can come in here and say along the mesh lines, single point, and now I can drag this point here along this mesh. pretty good and I can do the same thing with this point and by doing this I'm, I'm trying to get my control points into a very clean very smooth very nice row I don't want any sudden changes and um, this will make sure that the final surface that I am creating has no swirls or dips or divots as well. So you can see my control polygon on this is very clean and I have a nice looking surface. Let me go ahead and um, show these highlight lines and you can see I have a very nice very clean looking surface across the center line. This is G3 actually it's probably G4 across the center line uh, because it's basically perfect. By using this method, by creating your slab and manipulating your control points in set fashion, you're going to create a perfect condition about your center line every single time. The next video I'm going to create the, the next surface at this end and I'll be posting that here shortly.